Hey everybody, Matt here from Matt's Movies, Music and More, welcoming you to this week's movie review episode. The film I'm talking about today is a movie that was relatively successful when it came out in 1981 and it's kind of a film you don't really hear much about this day and age, but I thought I'd cover it given that I've seen it recently. So the film that I've decided to talk about today is the 1981 police drama Fort Apache The Bronx, which is directed by Daniel Petrie and it stars Paul Newman, Ed Ashner and Ken Wall. Now, the movie is essentially about uh, two police officers who work for the New York uh, Police Department, Murphy and Corelli, uh, played by Paul Newman and Ken Wall. And um, they're partners and they work in a really, really high crime neighbourhood of the South Bronx region of New York City. And um, you find out that a lot of people who work at the police station, they feel very kind of, you know, afraid and it kind of feels scary given that there's the amount of gangs and criminals and drug dealers out there, unemployment's high and Murphy drinks a lot and, you know, he's a lonely divorced father and um, Corelli, who is this young kid, basically, he, um, he, he has, wants to have a laugh and, you know, enjoys being a cop and stuff and you find out that there's things going on in this film like Murphy um, falls in love with a young nurse um, called Isabella, played by uh, Rachel Ticotin. And um, the movie, it, it's a hard one really to describe because it is quite a complicated film, but it's really just sort of the focus on um, these two cops and you know the things that are going on where they're working with maybe corrupt cops and um, the fact that there's a lot of crime going on and that some of the police are in on it and it's these two guys jobs to try and find out who it is that's responsible for you know who's who's to trust and who's not to so i won't really spoil too much more about the movie but let's just say that it was a big hit when 20th century fox released it i think it took over 60 million dollars when it was released so it did very well um regarding the actors in the movie this has got a great ensemble cast of people not just the ones that i've mentioned already but you've got people like Danny Aleo, who you will know from lots of other movies, and Pam Greer as well, who plays a prostitute, who you see at the beginning of the movie and a bit later on in the film as well. But I'll talk about the performances of Paul Newman. Now, I really like Paul Newman. I think he's a great actor. And um, obviously, uh, doing a movie like Fort Patchy the Bronx, you know, big hit for him. Ken Wall, who is a guy that I will cover at some point on Matt's Movies, Music and More, um, for many people, including myself, um, we know him mostly for the 1979 uh, gang movie, The Wanderers, which is kind of a movie that is similarly linked to The Warriors, but it's more like a 1960s coming of age gang movie. So it's interesting seeing him go from a gang to being a police officer in a movie. And Ken Wall is very likeable. I mean, he went on later on in the 80s to star in a TV series called Wise Guy. And it's such a shame about what happened to his career because I think that he had an accident or something where he, he got paralysed and um, he hasn't been able to act ever since. And it's a real shame because he could have been a potential, you know, huge star after doing Wise Guy. But um, what did I think of Fort Apache the Bronx? I thought it was okay. It's For me, it's not an outstanding movie. I think it's very much of its time. Um, it's very well made. It, it feels very similar to... Um, two other sort of police dramas that I've seen, which I actually thought were better movies. Um, the New Centurions with George C. Scott and um, Stacey Keach. And uh, The Choir Boys, which stars uh, Charles Durning and Randy Quaid, which I thought were better movies than this one. But I'm not knocking Fort Apache. I thought it was okay for what it was. So I suppose that's my review, review on Fort Apache. So um, what do you guys think of the movie? Have you seen it? Do you know anything about it? Are you fans of Paul Newman? Are you fans of any of the other people involved in the movie? Don't forget to give us some comments and feedback. Let us know. Um, on YouTube here, you can check out all our other videos. There's playlists already set up for What Did You Think? One of our series and at the Movies of Andrew. And we've got other series on here too. If you go on the social media links, they're all in the videos here. You'll be able to find out all the upcoming videos on there from Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So yeah, thanks very much everybody and we'll catch up very soon. All the very best.